Hi Lindsay, it's Thursday, February 16th, except it's actually not, because it's past midnight, so it's Friday, February 17th, but shh, this is my Thursday video, because I didn't make one for Wednesday, because I don't know if you could tell from like my videos or whatnot, but I've kind of been becoming increasingly overwhelmed by like stress and lack of sleep and homework and stuff. Which always sounds like a really lame excuse because everyone's like, well duh, you're in high school, it's stressful and busy. But I seem to be really bad at dealing with it because I've actually been like diagnosed with anxiety and whatnot. Anyway, so like apparently this week I got kind of sick or something, small case of tiny chicken disease. And last night I seriously just fell asleep in my room with all the lights on with my contacts in and that's why I didn't make a video for Wednesday because I was asleep um wait one moment okay this is my bag of valentines but that one some of those did the color just change is that did everything just get pink? One moment. Fixed it. Yay. That was weird. Yeah, so that bag is actually, like, some of those are, like, three years old. Because I started getting them after the first time I took the PSAT. And I just put them all in a bag. And so now I have that. Yay. Oh yeah, Valentine's Day. I was going to talk about my issue with Valentine's Day, which is kind of connected to yours, but it's kind of broader. I think it's really weird how like our society defines relationships, and especially how there's such a heavy emphasis on romantic relationships, particularly at like, such a young age. Like, I think most high school romantic relationships are really weird. Like... I don't really understand how that makes sense. I mean, I guess some kids are mature enough to handle that kind of thing as well as being in high school, but I think those kids are probably in the minority. And I think it's weird how, like, that's what's considered a relationship, is something romantic. Um, because I don't really think those relationships are as important as a lot of people seem to. Like, I also think the idea of friendship is kind of strange because it's so broad. Like, you have your really close friends who, like, you talk to every day and you tell lots of stuff. Or you have, like, the kids in a couple of your classes who you talk to every day. But you don't tell that much stuff, but you still get to know quite a bit and enjoy conversing with. There's the kids whose conversations you hear every day because they're best friends and they sit right in front of you. You have the kids who you don't get to know that well and who you don't talk to that much, but who you think are cool and, and who you maybe identify with or learn from, despite the fact that you never really become friends. You also have your relationships with your teachers, which vary depending on the individual teacher and the student. You have your relationships with your parents, which are obviously are completely different from other relationships, but are also completely different from family to family. And there's the kids you see every day in class, but never talk to because you don't feel inclined to. And you have relationships from si with your siblings, which are all over the place. Like, my brother and I are pretty much best friends, while many other siblings hardly even talk to each other. And I just think it's so weird when we have such a variance of relationships in our day-to-day -day lives, and we put such a focus on, like, romantic relationships, which isn't even, like, really a relevant thing to a lot of people, including myself. Like, I think it's weird how there aren't words for all of those relationships. There's just like friendship or acquaintance. So anyway, that's my take on Valentine's Day. I fully support your project to send your cat to art school. You can tell me how that goes. Thank you for the Valentine. It was lovely.
earlier this week at school, I started trying to make a flip book. It's not very good, but I'll show you what I have so far if the camera picks up this up. Yay! So yeah, hopefully my animation skills will improve. I guess I will see you tomorrow, probably. Goodbye. Oh yeah, and I'm totally in my pajamas again. Can't say words. Uh, just a minute, I need to remember how to speak English.